Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our God. My Father, my God, we thank you because you are our God. Lord Jesus, we bless you because you came to die so that we might be saved, that you can save us from the hands of the wicked. We thank you, Lord, for the salvation of our souls. We thank you, Lord, because you are life and we are salvation. You are our redeemer. You are our everything, Lord. Father, blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Mighty man of God, we thank you, Lord, for fighting every battle for us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for giving us victory over the house of wickedness. We thank you, Lord, because you are there for us. Even when our father and mother are not there, you are still there, oh God. Even when all the other gods are dead, you are still the living God. Father, I set our thanks in Jesus' name. Mighty Father, Lord, we lay our lives at your feet this morning, oh God. Father, show us your mercy in the name of Jesus. Wash away all our sins with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, creating us, oh God, a new heart. A heart to understand you. A heart, oh God, to walk in total obedience in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay this program into your hands, oh God. Father, Lord, breath your fire and your life upon this program in the name of Jesus. Let every desire, every plans, and every agenda of the wicked over this program, oh Lord, let them be nullified right now by your authority and power in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemies have spoken in the secret over this program, over every source connected, let their words, oh God, backfire in the name of Jesus. We begin to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover this program. We cover this platform. We cover every source connected. We cover all those that will be listening to this program. In later future, we cover their lives with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We pray that none of you shall suffer destruction from the hands of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself before you, Lord. Anything inside of me or anything I've done, oh God, that will open the door of my life to the enemies to come in. Father, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Lord, break me down, oh God. Remove me, Lord, to suit your purpose. And Lord, use me this day, oh God. To set the captives free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and received. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to day eight of the ways of death. And today we are looking at another way that can cause the death of anyone. And that way, or the topic, is inability to discern. Inability to discern can lead the mighty man to early grief. Inability to discern. And our reference point is Samson and Delilah. Samson and Delilah. Our memory verse is still Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. The Bible says there is, there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. To Samson, the lila being with him was a normal way. To Samson, answering the lila's questions was a normal way. But unknown to Samson that the agenda of the lila was to sell the secret of Samson to the outside world. I want you to pray. If you love your destiny, you will not take the case of Samson and the lila. You will not take it just like that. You will take it serious because. For every destiny that is going places, for every soul that God has created that are going higher, there are always spiritual and physical Delilahs that the enemies will plant just to bring down that line. I want you to pray like this. Say, open my eyes, O Lord, to see what the naked eyes cannot see. Open my eyes, O God, 
Open your mouth and say, Lord, open my eyes to see what the naked eyes cannot see. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my eyes. Oh Lord, oh Lord my Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes to see what the naked eyes cannot see. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my eyes, oh Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, you open your eyes to see what the naked eyes cannot see. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my eyes, oh Lord. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes to see what the naked eyes cannot see. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my Father, I pray thee, give me the spirit of discernment. My Father, I pray thee, give me the spirit of discernment. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, I pray thee, give me the spirit of discernment. Give me, Lord, the spirit of discernment. Give my children, give my family, oh Lord. Give me, Lord, the spirit of discernment. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You will pray like this again. Say, dangerous and silent wasters. Dangerous and silent wasters. Planted by the outside enemies to destroy me. Ah, you will pray. Dangerous and silent wasters. Planted by the outside enemies to destroy me. Wherever you are, destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus. Every danger and silent wasters. Planted by the enemy. Planted by the enemies. Enemies outside to come and destroy me. Wherever you are, destroy yourself. 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 In Jesus' name, it is said to pray this next one. Say, my father, give me spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. There is what is called physical wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which gives you edge physically. But when you have spiritual wisdom, it gives you spiritual aid. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, give me spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, and spiritual understanding. Oh Lord God, my Father, I pray this morning, give me spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, give me spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, give me, oh Lord, give me spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You pray this last one before we continue. Say, serpent and scorpions appearing to me in the form of human beings. Serpent and scorpions appearing to me in the form of human beings in order to destroy me. Die. You will command them to die. Serpent and scorpions appearing to me in the form of human beings to destroy me. Die. 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 Die in the name of Jesus. Die. Die. Serpent and scorpions. Serpent and scorpions. Serpent and scorpions. Appearing to me in the form, in the image of human beings. In order to destroy me. In the name of Jesus. Die. 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 You serpent and scorpions. Appearing to me in the image of man. In the image of human beings. In order to destroy me. In the name of Jesus. Die. 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 In Jesus name they are dead. Amen. Beloved. If you cannot see what is going on in the realm of the spirit, that life is on the pathway of being destroyed. This world is not only what you can see with the naked eyes. The evil that goes on in this world are not visible to the ordinary eyes. That's why you and I as a Christian needs to be praying to God to give us the ability to discern into the realm of the spirit, to see beyond the naked eyes. Then what do we understand by the word to discern? To discern means to have spiritual configuration of what goes on around us. The atmosphere you are seeing is deeper than what your naked eyes can see. There are so many powers, authorities, there are so many thrones, there are so many altars, invisible ones that are all over the places. And if you cannot see, that life can easily be wasted. To discern, it means to have spiritual understanding of human beings and their spiritual behavior. To have understanding, spiritual understanding of human beings and their spiritual behavior. Beloved, it is in this world that somebody will wake up and smile with you. But spiritually, they are vipers. It is in this world that somebody will come and be praying with you. Let's pray together. Let's agree. They will join us with you. But spiritually, they are killers. And if you don't have the understanding, that life 
can be wasted easily. Next, what do we mean by the word to discern? It means to be able to differentiate between the fake and the original. So many people now, they will appear to you as your helpers. But in the spiritual realm, they are not who they are portrayed to be. And if you cannot discern, you will speak all your secrets into their hands. What do we mean? Or what do we understand by that word to discern? It means to have understanding of the physical in contrast to the spiritual. Not all the things that we see in the physical that looks very shining and glorious are the same in the realm of the spirit. Not all areas that you find things that are very nice there physically are the same spiritually. There are diverse kinds of wickedness that the ordinary eyes cannot see. How do you explain this? Seeing someone in the dream attacking you, and in the physical, the person is your best friend. But if you have no understanding of the realm of the spirit, it's a pathway of death. There are so many high-flying destinies that the enemies have wasted. Why? Because they cannot discern. Beloved, what then are those things? Let's look at what the scripture says. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, this will open your understanding that you should be able to discern our spirit. Every place where you go, you must pray, Oh Lord, show me, show me those things that are going on where I am. If you don't understand your environment, the environment can swallow up that destiny. If you don't understand your workplace, your workplace can be another cage to cage the destiny forever. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 14 to 15, the Bible says, And no marvel, for Satan himself, hear this, mark it in your Bible, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. That means not every angel that you see, not every soul that comes to you say, Oh, sister, I'm a born again Christian. Oh, I mean this. You should not trust them. If Satan could transform himself to be the angel of light, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, devil to half ministers, if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. It explained to me, I don't know of you, but to me that we should be spiritually deep and sound so that we'll be able to know when devil has transformed in our presence and when his ministers too have transformed. There are so many people who are not who we think they are. They are the devil that has transformed into the agent of light. Because somebody is carrying the Bible and preaching to you, that does not make them to be the agent of God. Because somebody is speaking in tongues, that does not make them to be a child of God. If the devil could transform himself into an angel of light, why? In order to deceive those in the light and to waste them. I want you to pray. Say any power, any power, any power, transform me into another form in order to capture me. Any power, transform me into another form in order to capture me. Ah, Holy Ghost, consume them. Fire, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them. Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire. Consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them. In Jesus' mighty name, they are consumed. Pray this one again. Your friends, the people around you, you need to know who they are. You will pray like this. Say, every unfriendly friend around me, on assignment to pull me down. Every unfriendly friend around me. On assignment to waste my blood. 
be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted by fire, be wasted by thunder, be wasted by sword, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Open your mouth and pray. Be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In Jesus' name, they are wasted. Beloved, what are those things that we should look for? In your preparation to discern, you need to be watchful for some things. Number one, you need to be watchful of those who are always asking you about your secrets. Because you are making it in life, that doesn't give you the liberty to open your mouth and start telling your secrets to your enemies. When someone keeps asking you about your secret, ask yourself, why do they need my secret? Or what do they need it for? If your secret is not a threat to them, they won't be asking for your secret. So anyone that comes to you and be asking for your secret, beloved, not one thing, you need to discern them. They are the Delilah in your life. Number two, you need to be able to understand those who are your friends and at the same time, friendly with your enemies. Those who are your friends, and at the same time, friendly with your enemies. Watch out for them. If you cannot understand, beloved, all these teachings are to guide us so that we don't just fall or die prematurely. God created into this world once. You are here to live a fulfilled destiny and to accomplish the assignment that God has ordained for you. And the first day you came here on this earth and God gave you the blueprint of your life, the devil too is at work with the blueprint being given to an agent of destruction to destroy that life. Next. You need to be watchful of who I call persistent information officer. People that are always passing other people's information to you. By the time they load your life with information, they will try to take your own information too to go and sell to the outside world. You need to be careful with it. Next, you need to be mindful of your dreams. Through your dreams, God pass, God can pass down divine and wonderful secrets to you. But many of us, by the time you go to bed and you wake up with dreams, I just remember, I can't remember, I dream, I don't know the meaning. God will never speak. Without having a meaning. Next. You need to be watchful of spiritual messages. There are some messages that they will pass down to you as a trap. There are some ministers that have transformed. They are agents of darkness, but they have transformed to be agents of light. And if you listen to their administration, they can kill that light. Beloved, you don't know who you are. I want you to pray. You don't know who you are. The day you know who you are, you will know how to live a good life. And you will not just hang around with destroyers. Say, oh Lord God, my father, show me myself. Lord Jesus, show me myself. Oh Lord God, my father, show me myself. Show me myself. Show me myself. Show me the true picture of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my father, show me my real self. 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 In Jesus' name, it is done. Next. You need to be watchful of envious and dubious characters. If the people around you are very envious and dubious, beloved, it's a sign that they are not clean. They are agents of Delilah. You need to discern them. Ability to know them. When they talk, before they finish their sentence, something must tell you, okay, what this person is saying is not right. That is the power that we need today. The power to discern. Next. You need to be watchful of the comment people around you are making. There is a kind of comment people normally make. Are you the only one? That person that makes that comment, are you the only one? Watch that person and watch the comments. Don't just throw all the comments aside. Bible says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. A good man from the good treasure in the heart bring for that which is good. And an evil man out of the but an evil treasure in the heart bring forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, they must speak it. So whatever anybody is uttering to you is an indication of whether they are godly or they are the agent of darkness that has transformed to be ministers of light. Next, your environment. 
your environment. You will need to be watchful of our environment. Every day you need to pray, oh Lord, show me, show me what I need to know about my environment. If God shows you what will happen today in your environment, maybe tragedy or accident is about to happen. If God shows that thing to you, you will not go out that day. But many of us will just wake up in the morning, we think because our two eyes are open, that that's it. No, life is more than what the two eyes can see. It's more than that. Lastly, you need to be able to discern strange signs, strange body signs. Somebody hiding you, somebody easing at you, somebody just looking down upon you. You need to learn. You need to pray to God and say, Lord, teach me how to read the mind of people. Give me the power to know the intent and the thought of the heart of man. The Bible talks about the word of God. It says, it's a designer of the intent and the thought of the heart. So you need the word of God to achieve all this. Beloved, all these teachings that, that God has given us the grace to be doing is to save us. And you can only be saved when you have the word of God in your life. Beloved, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus. Don't just ignore all the scriptures in this teaching. Go back and start reading them. Let them become part of your life. And by so doing, you are going to have that spirit to discern your environment and mysteries. I want you to pray this morning. Beloved, you will not fall into the hands of of your enemies. Samson fell. Let's read the Bible. Let's do it. Samson fell into the hand of Delilah. A strong man. A man that normally used his bare hands to kill a lion. All of a sudden, he was captured. And they brought him out to come and dance the dance of shame. I am praying that whosoever wants you to dance the dance of shame shall go naked forever. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been paid money to uncover your secret, God Almighty will disgrace them in the marketplace. In the name of Jesus. Let's read Judges chapter 16. As we're rounding up. Judges chapter 16, verses 16 to 20. The Bible says, Judges 16, verses 16 to 20. And it came to pass, when she pressed him daily with her words, and hugged him, so that his soul was waxed Unto death. The woman was pressing, 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 telling Samson, Samson, tell me, say you love me. Tell me, tell me your secret. What does she need the secret for? Tell me your secret. Then he told her all his heart and said unto her, There had not come a razor upon my head, for I have been in Nazareth unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaving, then my strength will go from me. And I shall become weak and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the laws of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he had shown me all his heart. Then the laws of the Philistines came unto her and brought money in their hands. They gave her money for selling the secret of, Delilah, of Samson and praying. All those who have been paid the ransom to sell you out, they will not see the light of tomorrow in the name of Jesus. And she made him sleep upon her nails, and she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of the head. The kind of sleep that you will sleep, that will make the enemies to shave your glory. May you not fall into that sleep. I don't know the kind of sleep that Samson slept that day. That they were shaving his head and this man could not wake up. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whosoever is using witchcraft to make you to sleep. So that they can hijack your glory. Ah, that witchcraft will fail and to backfire. In the name of Jesus. Let's read. Samson, and he woke up of his sleep and said, I will go out as at one time before and shake myself. And he wished not that the law was departed from him. He woke up just to go and fight, but the strength was gone. I pray the enemies will not see your hand. The enemies, they will not turn you to a laughing stock in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Say, my father, deliver me from my spiritual ignorance. 
All of us, we are ignorant. We are ignorant of this discerning spirit. It is vital for every Christian to have. Say, O oh Lord, my Father, deliver me from spiritual ignorance in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, God, my Father, deliver me from spiritual ignorance in the name of Jesus. My Father, deliver me. Deliver me, Lord, from spiritual ignorance. Open your mouth and pray. O oh Lord, God, my Father, deliver me from spiritual ignorance. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, my Father, incubate my spiritual life with Holy Ghost and with fire. My Father, incubate my spiritual life, my spiritual eyes, my spiritual senses with Holy Ghost and with fire. My Father, incubate me with Holy Ghost and with fire. Oh Lord, my Father, incubate my spiritual life with Holy Ghost and with fire. Incubate my spiritual life with Holy Ghost and with fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, show me those who are walking with and for my enemies. Oh Lord, my Father, show me those who are walking with and for my enemies. Oh Lord, my Father, show them to me. Those who are walking with my enemies and those who are walking for them. Oh Lord, show them to me. Oh Lord, show them to me. Oh Lord, show them those who are walking with and for my enemies. Oh Lord, show them to me. Oh Lord, show them to us. Oh Lord, show them to us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, secret plans to waste my life be wasted. Every secret. Oh Lord, uh, beloved, please open your mouth and pray. There are people planning secretly to waste you. There are people planning secretly to pull you down. Pray like this. Say, secret plans to waste my life. Be wasted. In the name of Jesus, every secret plans to waste my life. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Every secret plans to waste my life. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. We have two prayers to pray. As we're rounding up. Psalm 25, verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Do you know who your enemies are? People who are celebrating you, do you know whether they are really celebrating you or they are your enemies? Say, O Lord, God, my Father. O Lord, God, my Father, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Oh Lord God, my Father, let me not be ashamed, oh God. Let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies, oh God, triumph over me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, oh Lord, I pray thee, let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. Do not let the enemies to triumph over me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lastly, you pray like this. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father, make me a mysterious wonder in the presence of my enemies. My father, my father, my father, make me a super wonder, a mysterious wonder in the presence of my enemies. My father, my father, my father, make me, Lord, a mysterious and super wonder in the presence of my enemies. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, Father, by your name called Jehovah, we decree by the decree of heaven that any plan of the wicked to waste any one of us, those plans are wasted now in the name of Jesus. Whosoever has been hired by the enemies to dig deep into their foundation, to uncover our secret, Father, let them receive divine blindness now in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone waking up at night and they are planning to destroy us in our sleep. Holy Ghost fire destroy them. 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 I pray thee for you. There is someone there right now. The enemies are waiting for that day that you will honor their invitation. They are about to invite you. They say, ah, my sister, come. Come, come and see something. Any power planning to destroy you through demonic invitation, wherever they are, any, any power anywhere planning to invite you so that they can kill you, they will die of death. They shall die your 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 death. In the name of Jesus, whosoever is feeling threatened. Because of your promotion in life, whosoever is not happy because of your increase in life, whosoever is not happy because of your family, I baptize them with double sorrow in the name of Jesus. They shall be sorrowful, they shall die of sorrow, they shall die of sorrow, they shall die of sorrow, they shall die of sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, mighty Savior. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we have prayed. 
Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. And I say a very big thank you to you all for the wonderful time in the presence of God and for this day eight of the ways of death. Beloved, we meet every day from nine o'clock in the morning for the hour of prayer. And the Lord has given us a very blessed time in his presence. He has given us this wonderful blank check. Meaning for us to have understanding that is not common with the knowledge of men. And the understanding is this teaching. So if this teaching is a blessing to you, beloved, please share the gospel. Jesus is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Share it with your friends, with your loved ones. And anytime we meet, beloved, endeavor to bring them on board. Let's pray together and let's depopulate the kingdom of darkness. And let God be glorified. We have our recorded videos on YouTube. Anytime you are free, just Google it or go to YouTube. Just type Reality Christian Center channel and all the videos will be there. And we have our website where you can get all our books and other God-inspired messages. The website is www.thepathofrighteousness. One word, thepathofrighteousness.com. It's on this platform. As soon as you click on the message, it will come out. you see the details in the print. As you study the scripture and as you pray along, may God Almighty give you everlasting victory over your enemies in the name of Jesus. I thank you again. Remain blessed and keep shining. This is your day. It is your season of super victory in the name of Jesus. You will not fall into the plans of your enemies. You will be victorious over there in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven victorious and powerful. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed children, have a blessed weekend. God bless you till me tomorrow for day nine. Bye.